All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rakakodash, and Tawadi Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, for giving us the spirit of truth in these last days which the world cannot receive. And as always, the honors to our apostles, elders of great millstone, that taught us the truth and do but well, Bakatham. Peace, love, and salutations to the Zakwani Wa Achim, the elders and the brothers standing stiffly for the names of Yahweh, Wa Yahushai, truth and sincerity. Yahweh being a heavenly father, is holy, too powerful name, which were any cause God, who's a so called Negro, a so called black man. All right, Baha Shem in the name, all right, Yahweh Shai, who's a so called Negro, a so called black man. All right, the son of the heavenly father, okay, the savior of the nation of Israel, starting off with the elect, okay, chiefly. All right, um, shalom to the predestined elect, scattered about the four corners of the earth, predestined to be safe from the utter destruction that's going to primarily take place here in Babylon the Great, which is spiritually Sodom in Egypt, spiritually Nineveh. All right, known to you today is uh, America, all right, AKA home of the uh, slaves and land of the freaks, all right, getting ready to be judged, all right, tremendously, all right, by the way of thermonuclear missiles, all right, and uh, the chairs of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shad is coming with fire, man. All right, so I just want to do a quick lesson on rejoice, all right, this is a, um, a beautiful time to be alive, man. You know, we, you know, we go heavy a lot on uh, the prophecies of great destruction, which we're supposed to do, all right, uh, they call us the prophets of doom, but in the scriptures, uh, in the book of Jeremiah, all right, it says, matter of fact, let's get that real quick. That's the spirit. So I ain't, ain't got to butcher it. Because pretty much the reason why I'm doing this lesson is because I just opened up the, uh, the sword. And, you know, the scriptures landed on Revelations, the 19th chapter. All right. In uh, verse 7, and it says, let us be glad and rejoice. So the elect have something to rejoice and to be glad about. And that's the fact that this is the last captivity and that in this captivity there is coming a deliverance man all right there is a deliverance all right from this great uh, uh destruction there is a deliverance man all right isaiah the 26 chapter speaks about come up hither all right enter into the chambers and be hid from the great uh, uh indignation of yahweh bashmi al shai so the lord is going to show mercy on on particular spirits out here chiefly the 144,000 men women and children the helps of the prophets and believers of the faith of yahweh bashmi al shai according to saint john the 17th chapter all right there is a, a deliverance that's going to come. So it don't matter how bad it look. Yahweh Basham Shah is a man of his word. Okay. This is um, Jeremiah chapter 28. All right. In verse uh, 8, it says, The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old. See, so these things are already old. These ancient words that we're speaking, man. All right. When we're going into the scripture, we're breaking down, uh, down things that are uh, already done. We're breaking down things that the prophets had already seen happen. They just were not, uh, uh, they just are uh, 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 living in the flesh, okay? They were in the flesh, they passed away. But what? No prophets are here today. That's why uh, 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 our, our forefathers, okay? David, okay, Job, they said what? That they would see the salvation in the, uh, in the latter end, man, okay? Though worms would, uh, uh, you know, pretty much slock it. Devoured his body, yet and he said, Yet in my flesh shall I see God. Matter of fact, Job said, Let's get that real quick. Because we're going to see you how about me outside, man. And I believe that this is that generation, man. You know, brothers young, you know, in that 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, man. We we gonna see you how about me outside, man. Lord's will. Let's see. Flesh God. Job said this. Meaning what? Car reincarnation, man. Biblical. This is uh, the book of uh, Job, chapter uh, 19, verse 26. All right. And it says, And though after my skin worms destroy this body, right, this uh, uh, earthly tabernacle, okay, it says, Yet in my flesh shall I see the Most High. So Job was not only a, a, a man of Yahweh, but some child who was great in integrity but he was a prophet okay because what he's prophesying of seeing the salvation that's why he said rejoice and the same thing our forefather okay and our king okay who also was a prophet king david said man in the book of uh which we'll get all right psalm 17 okay this is our psalms Psalms chapter 17 in verse um, 15 it says ask for me 
And this is a Psalm of David. See, a prayer of David. It says, as for me, I will behold thy face in righteousness. See, why? Because ultimately the nation of Israel is going to be made perfect. Ultimately. Okay, now two thirds are going to be judged on this side. Okay, but what? All right, the one third are going to be tried through the fire and come out as gold. All right, starting off with the 144,000, 12,000 men out of the East 12 tribes, according to Revelation 7 chapter. Okay, who are worthy, man? And what is where we are, those men? Okay, that's going to be the chief government over all the nations. All right, on the planet Earth, man. All right. It says, I shall be satisfied when I awake with thy likeness. What, what is that likeness? That God-like body, man. That God-like stature. First John, um, third chapter around the first verse, I believe it says, and it does not appear what we shall be, but what we are being made the sons of Yahweh Bashem Shai again. All right. Brought by the price of Yahweh Shai's blood. Okay. Being adopted. Back into the faith and the belief of Yahweh Bashem Shai, man. Okay. This is uh, Jeremiah 28 and verse 8. Again, it says, The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms. Right? And Babylon agrees is a great kingdom, man. Of war and of evil and of pestilence. And these are all things that are taking place on a lower scale, if you will, but ultimately going to be uh, vamped up. Okay? To the point where war is going to be the third world's war. All right, and that evil is going to be the time of Jacob's trouble, and that pestilence is going to be the thermonuclear missiles, man, dropping on you, uh, uh, you people out here, man. You see, and that's what we're prof we prophesy about. But okay, the reward of that is that the fact that Yahweh Bashem Shai has not forsaken those that He have called, man, those whom He have chosen from the foundations of the earth, according to Ephesians. All right, the first chapter. So let's get this in the Book of Revelations, chapter. Uh, 19 So this is why we're glad This is why we're so hyped and on fire To do the work, the will of Yahweh Bashem Shai, man To go out there and stand stiffly For the names of Yahweh Bashem Shai To put our life on the line Okay, because we already gave up our life, man To re to receive it, alright In the abundance of immortality This is the book of uh, Revelations Chapter 19 in verse 7 Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him for the marriage of the lamb, which is Yahweh Shai, is come. See, that's why he said, behold, I come quickly. That marriage is coming, man. All right. And this is why the, the, the 144,000, all right, prepared as a bride, adorned for her husband. You see, we're making ourselves ready into that great marriage, which is what? The salvation, man. All right. Okay. Well, ultimately, the elect is going to get beamed up. All right. All right, and the great coronation is going to come, man, where the elect is going to be crowned from the hands of the Heavenly Father uh, through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai Mashiach. And that's in the book of 2nd Ezra, 2nd chapter, man. The one that standeth, uh, uh, that's taller than the rest, our Lord and our Savior, where there's going to be a lot of tears in that day, man. Okay? Tears of joy, man. And the Lord is going to wipe away all our tears in that day because we're going to be immortal, never going to see captivity, never going to see a struggle. Never going to see Section 8, TRE, well-fed, wick checks, man. In a hood, being a nigga, a whore, a slut. Again, ever seeing that again, man. Never. All right? So that's why it says, let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him for the marriage of the Lamb is come. And his wife, the elect, not an actual woman, because the Lord said he have likened the dark, uh, uh, he have likened Jerusalem as a calmly and delicate woman. Starting off with the men. Okay? It says, and made slot, and his wife have made herself ready. And who is that? That's the five wise virgins, man. Okay. Which five is re resemblance of what? Power. So the elect have that power. That's why the scriptures say, greater is he that is in thee. See? The power of what? The power of Yahweh Bashem Shai, which is the, uh, uh, the testimony of. All right, of Yahweh Shai, the spirit of prophecy. Prophecy is the greatest power on the planet Earth because we're foretelling you the things that's getting ready to happen before it happened, man. So then when it happened, then you're going to know a prophet was among you, ultimately giving glory to the Heavenly Father through His only begotten Son that He exists. Verse 8, and, and, and to her was granted, woo, that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white, for the fine linen is the righteousness of saints. All right, we can close out, okay, in the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1, the righteousness of the saints, man. 
Wisdom of Solomon chapter 1, verse 15. For righteousness is immortal. All right? So this wisdom, understanding, and knowledge of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai, okay, is bringing us forth into that uh, uh, desired, uh, uh, desirable kingdom that's going to lead unto righteousness forever, immortality, man. The understanding, all right, that Yahweh Bashmi Shai exists and that this is his will to set up, okay, the nation of Israel, starting off with the, uh, uh, the elect. All right, the Israel of the Most High, in the face of such that have afflicted us in great boldness, according to prophecy, in order. All right. So with that, Lord, what is edifying to the elect? To the next time, I say shalom.